my mom and dad weren't ever together. Um, they were never married. They were never really dating. And I've known that since I was old enough to comprehend it. You know, it was just one of those things. I was like, okay, you know what? Like, I know who my dad is. I know that they both love me. I know that they're going to be here for me. Um, so I was with my mom consistently. You know, her and I obviously got really close. I would hang out with my dad every once in a while. So when I was 12 or 13 years old, my mom sat me down and um, just told me, like, you know, the person that you have believed to be your biological father to this point is saying that he is not your biological father, that you are not his son. Um, basically just kind of throwing everything out that we had ever experienced together or any relationship that we had built. Um, that hurt, that sucked. So what do you do as a 12, 13 year old kid that is no longer being claimed by the person that's supposed to love them for the rest of their life? It just leaves you shattered. It left me shattered, I was in tears. I remember being in my, like curled up in my mom, mom's arms crying just uncontrollably for hours on end and there was nothing she could do to soothe that. There was nothing she could do to, to fix that hurt and it just felt like my heart was ripped out. I was just broken into so many pieces I remember just being so angry um, and saying like, how could you, like I messaged him on Facebook. I was like, how could you do this? Like this literally is the worst day of my life. And that experience is what made me hesitant to grow close with God. And you know, it's widely understood that your earthly father is the first representation that a son or a daughter has of the heavenly father. That's why for a long time, I thought that I had to earn God's love, I thought I had to earn God's presence. Like I thought that his presence was more of a privilege than it was a gift. And that's something that it took me a long time to realize that God wants to be with me. And that's not anything that I had had from a fatherly figure really early on in my walk with, with Christ was something that was revealed to me that you could have this ceramic vase and it could be sitting on a countertop. And if it gets knocked off, it's gonna shatter. And if you put it back together, it's going to visibly show that it had been broken before. But it's functional. You can still use it for something. And if you put a light, if you put a light source inside of that broken vase, it's going to shine through those cracks. And even though the vase is repaired, it's going to shine through and it's going to show the brokenness, but it's going to show the good that's inside that's coming out of it. And that's something that I know that God can do with anybody. He definitely did it with me. He took me from this place of not feeling love, just desperate for some sort of affection. And he took me to being the person that is shining out onto others because of me placing God in my heart. That's why I'm so passionate about working with youth ministry and um, young adults is because I am now what I needed when I was in middle school and high school. And I know God's gonna use that.